Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Beef Tendo Power. There we go. <laughs> this episode, we are going to be flipping through the pages of Nintendo Power, issue number six, with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles front and center on the cover. Now, as you can see, this magazine is not in the greatest condition. <clears throat> you see it's uh, kind of taped together. Yeah, all the way through. So this is going to be interesting. I'm going to try to go through this without completely tearing it apart. So without further ado, let's get started with Nintendo Power, issue number six. Oh, sweet lord. Okay, that's in worse shape than I thought. I thought some of the cover was actually connected and it's not. Alright, so, oh my god, it's falling apart already. Okay, so I'm trying to center this out. I can't see the camera real well. Hopefully this picks it up. Anyway, right off the bat, <clears throat> we have the powerful connection. You can call Captain Nintendo at 1-900-420-6100. I wouldn't recommend trying to call now because there's no telling what, number, what that line connects to. Uh, you probably don't want to know. We get our usual welcome to the episode. Oh, sweet lord. Okay. That's not good. Let's tuck that in. <laughs> we have our table of contents. Of course, Ninja Turtles, the star of the show. The Nestor Awards, we have Bayou Billy, we have Cobra Triangle, we have previews of Mega Man 2, Dragon Warrior, a bunch of others. And the usual suspects. Please don't, please don't rip, please don't rip. Oh my god. Alright. This this issue might not make it through this episode. Okay. So here we have the mailbox, the player's form. In later issues it would be called the player's pulse. Basically everyone's writing in letters. Oh man. Look at this. Four of us got together and made, made a magazine called Nintendo News for a school project. We thought NES fans would enjoy the following recipe that we included. Mike Tyson's Punch. Two cups of strawberry Kool-Aid. Two cups of raspberry Kool-Aid. Two cups of ginger ale and one box. Not a cup. One box of frozen strawberries. I actually might try that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man I made a wrap for you oh lord the legend of Zelda wrap do I dare it's the legend of Zelda and it's really bad the creatures in the game are really rad dark nuts move very fast but if you're quick they will not last Paul's voice jumps super high but if you watch your speed you will not die Wiz Rose move fast, I agree, but if you get touched, you lose a heart of energy. I like to thank Nintendo for all the fun, but I'm sorry to say my rap is done. Well, hot damn, where's my record deal? I did that with no auto tune at all. Sign me up, man. All right, let's try not to tear the pay. Oh God. All right, here we go. Our cover story: Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I've said before. I am a huge, absolutely huge Ninja Turtle fan, and I could not wait to get my hands on this game. I was so excited when we got it, and then I played it and realized it was so, so difficult. The Turtle Van, nine times out of ten, was the farthest I got in this game. So here we are, we're just introducing the Turtles. Don is the strongest turtle, but he's also very slow. Mike's Nunchaku works well against the smaller enemies. Raphael, his size, the quickest weapon, but not, does not have a long range. Yeah, no kidding. All right. And here we go with some of the enemies here. And the, the thing about this first Ninja Turtle game, some of these enemies were really weird, man. Like, the giant frog, the fire freak. They had absolutely nothing to do with the Ninja Turtle cartoon. So maybe they were part of the comic. I don't know. But just a lot of these enemies made no sense to me because I'd never seen them before in a cartoon. So like I said, maybe they came from the comic book. Look at the foot soldier. That is not a foot soldier. That is something that is not a foot soldier. And here we have a map of Area 1. We have Area 2, the infamous defuse the bombs in the dam while trying to avoid the electric seaweed, I guess. 
Awesome music, by the way. The Turtle Van level. Here's the map. I could have used this map when I was a kid. I did not have this issue of Nintendo Power, but I definitely could have used this map because this is as far as I got. So this definitely would have been helpful. And I always like how Nintendo Power has, I say this every episode, but I like how they have the maps and all the power-ups and locations marked on here. But look at this, man. Just all these different maps and strategies. Look at that. The turtles must defeat the dreaded Mecha Turtle. I never made it that far. Well, I did, I did. I think like three times I finished that level. Is that the turtle van level? Hell, I don't know, man. It seems familiar, but I don't think so. I'm old, man. I don't remember. All I know is the turtle van level, nine times out of ten, that's where I got. Here we have the Nestor Awards, the Nintendo Power Awards 88. Best graphics and sound, Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. Best challenge, The Legend of Zelda. The best theme over for fun, Super Mario Bros. 2. Best play control, Super Mario Bros. 2, unless you're playing as Luigi in my case. The best character came from The Legend of Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. The best ending was Super Mario Bros. 2? What? That ending sucked, man. It took me years and years to finish and that ending blew. Uh, I don't agree with that one. Best player versus player, Blades of Steel. Overall video game award is presented to that video game which has distinguished itself by achieving high degrees of excellence in all areas and established itself as an industry standard of quality and merit. Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. As a kid, I would disagree heavily, but now I love that game, man, so no problem with that. And here's Bayou Billy. Uh, I think we covered Bayou Billy in an earlier issue. I never played Bayou Billy, but yeah. I swear, I, I swear they had the same maps in another issue, man. Cobra Triangle. This is another game I always wanted to play, but I never did. So I'll have to change that. It's kind of like, it reminds me of Sky Shark, but in the water. <laughs> if you've never played Sky Sharks, Sky Shark is awesome. It's insanely difficult, but it's awesome. And this game looks, this looks so much fun, man. Uh, Life Force, I have never played this either. have no clue what it's about. It looks like this kind of space shooter. Alright, we have a preview of Mega Man 2. The Dr. Wily Castle theme is legendary. Of course, maps of the different areas here, the different robot masters. Look at that. Wood Man, Metal Man, Drill Man, Air Man. I uh, can't remember the rest. I want to say Clash Man, I'm not sure. And here we have Foxanadu. This is another game that when I was living in Italy, Foxanadu would be one of those games that was always at the base BX. Always there. I don't know if they kept stocking it because it was selling so much or if they couldn't sell it. But it's one of those ones. This one and Taboo the Sixth Sense were both mainstays at the base BX. And... Visit the towns of the world. I actually might give this a try one day, man. Because I remember it always looked weird to me when I would see it at the BX. <clears throat> and here we have the Adams Family, Fester's Quest. I honestly have never been a fan of the Adams Family. I just, I, I thought all the movies and the shows and the cartoons were stupid, so I never bothered with the games. I was just never a fan. Clash at Demon Head. I've actually never heard of this. Uses both horizontal and vertical scroll in its action play. Well, Alright then. <clears throat> we have Dragon Warrior. Believe it or not, I have never played any of the Dragon Warrior games at all. 
Here we have the Howard and Nestor comic. As I've said before, I was never a fan of the Nestor comic, so I... Mm -mm. Counselor's Corner. Here we have our different counselors here. This guy is looking like he just squeezed off a silent but deadly, and he's trying not to laugh. This dude looks like he's Mr. Cool. <laughs> and I will say this on every episode. Counselor's Corner, Nintendo Power is the only video game magazine I know of where if you sent in a letter asking a question, they would actually write you back and send you a letter back in the mail. How do I feed the Dark Nuts and Whiz Rose? The Dark Nuts were a pain in the rear, man. So more Counselor's Corner. More Ninja Gaiden. As a kid, I used to think it was Ninja Gaiden. I never finished this game, man. This is one of the most difficult games I've ever played. I never finished Ninja Guide and probably never will. We got maps of different areas here. Would probably be a big help if I were to play it now. <laughs> man, they got all kinds of maps and stuff here. <clears throat> And this is Friends by Robbie Lowe, oh, Fiction Writers Showcase, okay. This is kind of like fan fiction stories. Here we go, the top 30, this was not in the last uh, issue. The number one game on the NES at the time of this magazine's publication was Zelda 2 The Adventures of Link. Number two game was Mario 2, number three was The Legend of Zelda. Look at that, number 30 is Mega Man 2 and it hadn't even come out yet. How is that possible? <laughs> Look at that man, Rampage, Blaster Master, Contra. It's like childhood kicking you in the nuts right there. Then of course we have the top players picks, the pros picks, and the dealers picks. To this day, uh, the I have no idea what the pros were. I guess game counselors. It says game counselors. I don't know. Professor Nestor's Father's Day lecture today. It's Nestor, so we're going to skip over it. <laughs> Classified information. All the cheat codes you could ever want. A code for Golgo 13, 1943. The Adventure of Link. Hmm. Huh. All right. Ninja Gaiden, Quick Climb Maneuver, and oh man, I have Ultima, which I never played, Adventure Island, one of my favorite games, but so, so difficult, never been able to finish it, uh, yep, that's it, Video Short, Super Dodgeball, I never played that, but always wanted to, Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle, yeah. Kung Fu Heroes, <laughs> Fist of the North Star, Street Cop, and Athletic World. Monster Park, Adventure of Lolo, oh my god, I remember that. I remember playing Adventure of Lolo as a kid when I lived in Italy with some of our friends. That game was so much fun. It was so weird, but it was so fun. Here we have this issue's Players Poll Contest. First price, the first grand prize winner will receive a mountain bike with a helmet. 15 second place winners will receive WrestleMania. And oh, autograph WrestleMania game packs. I'd rather be a second place winner. I'd rather get the auto autograph WrestleMania game than the mountain bike. Apparently this guy never, whoever had this issue before me did not want to order any back issues or enter the player's poll this week or this month. <laughs> I think he filled out the card last issue or the issue before. Oh man, NES Journal. Just basically movies and things coming out. The Batman movie with Jack Nicholson as the Joker. I'll be honest folks, I was not a fan of Jack Nicholson's Joker at all. Alright. Celebrity profiles, Holly Robinson, celebrities who love Nintendo, Holly Robinson back before she was Holly Robinson Pete. Before she was hanging with Mr. Cooper, she was with Johnny Depp on 21 Jump Street. 
Here we go. The ultimate video game lock arm. Okay. And video spotlight. Uh, just kind of people talking about how much they love games and how good they are. The NES achievers where you send in your high score, most of it as you can see. 99, 99, 99, 99, blah, blah, blah. Up in the millions. To this day, I have never, ever seen anyone from where I'm at. Alright, Pack Watch. Games that are coming out in the future. Magic Johnson's Fast Break. That, no, that sucked. Stealth ATF. I played that a few times and just couldn't get into it. Three Stooges. I thought was fun as a kid, but now it's not that great. <laughs> 720, I played that a few times. The Power Glove, man, I always wanted a freaking Power Glove. Never had one. And the Game Boy, oh man. When I first got my Game Boy, I had the original and I had the carrying case where you could put the games in there along with the Game Boy. And I had Super Mario Land of Tetris. Man, that thing was freaking awesome. I loved my Game Boy. And that is it. Gossip Glore, Super Mario Bros. 3. Mario will be able to fly using a raccoon tail as a, propell a propeller. <laughs> it's kind of a sneak preview there. This is what's coming up in the next issue. And yeah, our back cover is missing. Which doesn't surprise me since the front cover is taped. But yeah. That is going to do it. That is it for issue number six. And that will probably be the last time for quite a while that I flipped through it because it is in such fragile condition. But that is issue number six of Nintendo Power Magazine. I hope you all enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed looking back through it. That was awesome, man. So I appreciate you all watching. I hope you liked it. And I will see you on the next episode of Beef Tendo Power. Y'all have an awesome week, an awesome weekend. Y'all take care.